Oh, good morning. <laughs> Should I open the blind so that you can play with your toy appropriately? Oh, and there's fuzz everywhere. I see we already got that. Oh my gosh, that's so exciting. Let me see it. Let me throw it. Yes, ma'am, I need you to throw it. Oh my gosh, fantastic. Good morning everyone welcome back to my channel today we are doing a full day of eating voiceover talk through style video and just to be clear i am recording this on my mini microphone for those of you that wanted to know <laughs> so a lot of you really enjoy the video i did last time with this voiceover where i was like working through my day of not eating at home so i figured i would do one where it's just a regular day of eating for me so that's what we're doing today and we are starting off this day with a good old breakfast sandwich, bagel sandwich, freaking fire. So the reason I do this and not my usual OG breakfast that you guys always see with like the egg whites, veggies, scramble with the oatmeal and peanut butter banana is because if I'm going to work out like within 45 minutes to an hour of the time that I'm eating, I want something a little bit more like fast digesting. It doesn't sit as heavy on my stomach. Whereas like the oatmeal is obviously slower digesting and I just have a lot more food in my stomach, you know? So on this day, I was going to work out in about an hour. So that's why I'm making the breakfast sandwich, just adding some garlic salt, salt and pepper, egg whites. I know the lid that doesn't fit. Anyways, <laughs> you're going to wait till the edges get a little bit golden and they're going to flip. Don't over flip it. You just got to do a half flipsy and then you're going to do another half and just leave it like that. Okay, don't get crazy. Then I'm going to toss in some alfresco chicken bacon. I love this on my breakfast sandwiches and I don't understand because Hy-Vee is the only place I can find it and literally sometimes the store will have it and then it will go like three, four months without having it on the shelves. I don't know, but if you can find it in a store near you, it's really good. Macros are awesome and I just prefer this bacon to like turkey bacon. So then I'm going to toss my Dave's Killer Bread bagel into the toaster that caught on fire this week. No worries. <laughs> And uh, I've really been liking the blueberry bagel for my breakfast sandwiches lately, switching it up between that and cinnamon raisin. But either way, Dave's Killer bagels are just awesome. Then I'm throwing on some field roast dairy-free cheese, just the regular old kind. And then we are going to make the coffee, which is also a regular for me. This is the Califia Farms Pecan Caramel Dairy-Free Creamer. Absolutely love this stuff. The Silk Oat Milk one is also really good in the flavor oat milk cookie and I'm adding some Starbucks blonde roast. People do ask me quite a bit about why this particular coffee doesn't hurt my stomach, and the honest answer is that I really don't know. Cold brew espresso really doesn't sit well with me, but for some reason, this blonde roast just doesn't bother my stomach. I don't know. But I am going to top it with some dairy-free whip. This has just been like a routine of mine forever. I love it, and I'd add a little bit of cinnamon sugar as well. Then I'm just going to add some guacamole to my breakfast sandwiches. Somebody in the last video said that it was really gross that I added jelly to my bagel sandwiches, but hear me out. When you were a kid, did you ever have cream cheese and jelly sandwiches? Because I did, and I think that's where I get it from, but it's so good. It just adds like a really nice sweet element to the breakfast sandwich. I don't know, just give it a try, okay? Don't hate on it until you try it. And of course, you know, I gotta show you the inside carefully. Careful SpongeBob, careful SpongeBob. <laughs> uh, it was delicious. Okay, love this go-to breakfast meal, and this is number one of the day. And of course, filling up my 32-ounce Starbucks tumbler cup because I am a thirsty bitch, and I just have graduated from the gallon jug, okay? I have been told it was douchey, so here we are with my Starbucks tumbler cup in lieu of the gallon jug. <laughs> And then I'm going to take a little scoopy scoop of pre-workout. This is the Driven Nutrition Pre-Wad in the green apple flavor. This is my favorite flavor. Yes, I'm going to dry scoop it. No, there are zero benefits to doing this. It's actually really dumb. I just don't like having a lot of water in my stomach. What? I don't know. Before I work out, sloshes around. Wow, love it all over my lip there. And then I actually don't know what I just did there. Also, it's all over my shirt. <laughs> So I think this is around 8.30. Liza and I are gonna go downstairs so that I can do my workout. I think I was biking today on this day. This might have been a Tuesday, doing some hitting hills. Oh, gotta give her her bone first so she knows. <laughs> and we're gonna go over to the bike and get set up. I know this is not part of the full day of eating, but I still wanted to show you part of my routine. But I did recently get a new heart rate monitor and I wanted to mention it because I really like it and it's from Garmin. I stopped using the Peloton brand one because it just kept shorting out on me and like it would not connect to the bike or the app. It was just really inconsistent and I've seen super good results with this one. 
So I'm gonna go do my workout now and I'll be back for the next post-workout meal. After my workout, I do like to wait just a little bit before I drink my shake. Sometimes if it was a really hard workout, my stomach's kind of just like, whoa. So I grabbed two of these Alyssa's Healthy Vegan Bites and I mixed some driven lemonade aminos into my water so that I could take the dogs on a walk and have something to drink and just have a little bit of something in my stomach. And then I will show you the shake that I made today, which will be coming in an Instagram post. If you haven't seen the shakes I've been posting recently, you gotta check them out on my Instagram page. I have been going ham on the shake creations lately. I just wanted to show you the finished product because it was so pretty. It was a mess. This one was an absolute mess, but it was so delicious. I cannot wait to share this one. If you have any shake recommendations, like combinations or anything that you would want me to recreate, let me know in the comments. If you have a little guess as to what this one was, let me know. But amazing and that's what I had for my post-workout shake <laughs> love that I'm trying to like fix the running shake all over the glass by the way that's a plastic wine glass I got a target for like three bucks okay moving on to my second actual meal of the day I wanted to do a little bit of meal prepping on this day as well because I really was wanting the turkey burger patties but instead I decided to split it up because I was noticing recently that when I make the turkey patties I end up making way too many and they go bad before I can eat them so instead I decided to do a ground turkey bowl for half of this meat and then I made patties with the other half mention that this is 99% lean ground turkey and it is rather dry so I like to add some lime and lemon juice to it a little bit of avocado oil and I think the seasonings that I put in this were just like basic it was the garlic um, the citrus garlic from Trader Joe's and then a little bit of tahini mixed it all up and just made sure it was cooked evenly this is not something that i would want to meal prep like to put into my fridge and reheat i do not like reheated ground turkey unless it is in those patties so that's why i was making this for austin and i for lunch at this day and i'm going to eat this serving fresh everything else is going to be in the burger patties and I did have some leftover Trader Joe's jasmine rice in my fridge. So this was already cooked. I was just weighing it out so that I could reheat it. And I added some mixed vegetables, just very basic like broccoli, cauliflower, and carrots. And put a paper towel over it, popped it in the microwave. And then I'm so excited because I finally was like, oh, I have something to use this for. This little pickle de gallo. How cute is that? It's like pico de gallo, but with pickles. And I couldn't think of anything to use this with. So I actually just made the turkey burgie <laughs> turkey burgie <laughs> those burgers the turkey burgers with the pickle de gallo in the meat and it was really good so then I just added it to this bowl because I wanted to try it really bad and it was actually amazing such a good little like additive for a drier type of meat like the lean ground turkey then I think I realized I had a little bit of extra fat, so I went and grabbed the guacamole and added that to the top of the bowl. It was delicious. Did not hurt my stomach. 10 out of 10. We love that. <laughs> and then, of course, I had to add a dark chocolate Reese's Thin for my little post-lunch dessert. Does anyone else do this? I just feel like I got to have something sweet afterwards. So that's what I had for lunch. Bougie Toaster says 11.13, but if you look on the real clock, it's 5.34, so it is now dinner time, and I am going to assemble some mini tahini tostadas. These have been my absolute favorite lately. I don't know what it is about these little things. They're so good, and you guys know me. I'm a lover of tostadas, but these just hit differently. <laughs> so I decided to go with three of these. Then my go-to base for tostadas is always the guacamole, which I literally use this on everything, and then a little bit of peach mango salsa from Hy-Vee. I get the one that's not spicy so it adds a little bit of sweetness to it and just some shredded lettuce but this is honestly why I like to prep my proteins and sides and everything in bulk because you can make so many different types of meals with it this was just the cilantro lime chicken thighs that I make in the air fryer and all I did was take one of these um, thighs and just cut it up into little tiny chunks and then scoop it out and put it on the tostadas and it's like bam you have a whole new meal and to top it off, a little bit of that Wahlburger sauce from Aldi, which I really have no idea what's even in that. But as you can see, I don't put much on there. It's really just for presentation for myself, honestly. Okay, so good. A little bit of lime juice, and that is dinner for the evening. So then about an hour after dinner, I wanted to try this chickpea, which I already stuck my finger in, <laughs> that's chickpea cookie dough no bake shit and it was basically supposed to be an alternative for cookie dough that you make with chickpeas I was very skeptical and <laughs> as you can see I was not a fan I don't know I just I don't really 
buy it when those food bloggers are like, it tastes just like cookie dough, bitch. No, it does not, okay? It tastes like ground up chickpeas. And also, I didn't drown it in brown sugar and maple syrup or anything, you know? Also, I gave it four out of 10. That was my review for that. Did not like it, would not recommend. So I nixed that and decided to have oatmeal of course for my nighttime snack this is just such a staple for me i don't know why it's just so comforting and it's also filling so i have this at around 7 30 and then i go to bed at 9 I usually try to fall asleep anywhere for between 9 30 and 10 so it's a good enough time in between like laying down to where it doesn't bother my stomach or my digestion but it still keeps me full throughout the night like i never wake up hungry so just a serving of that and then i added some leftover banana from my shake from the morning, which I always think of that one girl who asked me what I do with my other half of the banana every time. It never fails. <laughs> and some honey and peanut butter, again, go to. Oh, and then I added a uh, peanut butter pie Oreo to that. Crumbled it up and put it in there. Amazing. You got to try it. And then because it was 7.30, Austin was just getting home from work and I needed to show you that he was eating a Jimmy John sandwich with Lay's chips and extra mayo on there. <laughs> and because I don't see him all day, I like to be really annoying and kind of leech on his back and talk to him while he eats this disgusting food <laughs> and that's basically it that's the end of this full day of eating video i hope you guys enjoyed let me know if you have any other requests in the comment section and i will see you guys in my next video